So let's leave India and go to the world. What is the shape of our world today? Do you agree with some people, for instance, that global warming is a serious threat? Is that our biggest problem? I think global warming is an international shame. I think the fact that global warming will happen in the world, it's going to affect the poorest of poor, and that it's the rich in the world, whether it's the rich in New York or the rich in Delhi, who are responsible for it, and that we as a world have never been able to have the guts and the spunk to deal with this issue is a shame. It's criminal. Let's be very clear about this. Global warming today more and more is a reality. And yet we have done so little to deal with it because it will require us to rework the paradigm of our own growth. I completely disagree with economists who say that you can deal with global warming in a win-win situation. That is, everyone will win. They forget the fact that there are large numbers of people who are going to lose. And I think it's very important for us to demand from our leaders, whether it is the Indian Prime Minister or the Prime Minister of the United States or the President of the United States, to demand that we require your leadership here. This is too serious an issue. It's going to require cooperation of a level we have never seen in the world, but it can also lead to devastation that we have never seen in the world. This is too serious for you to take too li so lightly and that we as citizens of the world have to take this matter much more seriously. I'm sorry, but I'm very passionate about this and I get really angry about it as well. You don't think it's, it's uh, anything concrete is being done? I mean, no, is there any? Not. I have watched the issue on global warming for the last 15 years. I have been there at almost every COP, the conference of party, till I absolutely gave up in, in, in disgust. I have seen just words and words and words. I have never seen seriousness of intent. For the first 10 years, all we have argued is whether global warming is a reality or not. And now we are beginning to argue, but it is a reality, but we will not do anything until China and India do something about it. The fact of the matter is that India and China also need the right to grow. And that it is the, it is the responsibility of the rich countries to bring down their emissions so that we can grow. And the fact is that we have to share global space. This is one issue on which the world is most challenged to say that the market does not work. Because if you follow the market, then it is a path down to hell as far as global warming is concerned. Wow, that's scary. It is. It is scary. We should be scared. I mean, please understand. You know, we are often known as doomsdayers. We are always told, oh, you environmentalists, you're going to tell us that, you know, everything is going to go down, you know, everything is going to be destroyed. And nobody took global warming seriously, and yet it's affecting us today. We're talking about glaciers melting at a speed that scientists themselves never thought of. We're talking about monsoons, the lifeline of India changing. Are we prepared for all this? I mean, it is something that we should take seriously, but I s take it more seriously because it will require most, most importantly for us to rethink what we mean by development. And that is why it is so serious. Well, Ms. Naran, I think that with your passion and with your intensity, in, I I'm sure that people will listen to you. Thank you again for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming all the way. <laughs> Thank you.